Hello Basil. Good morning. How are you? Are you alright? Hmm? I want you to help me with something on this. Penultimate day of my week of torture. Are you up for the challenge? Hmm? How do you feel? I want you to help me choose what to have for breakfast. These are my last two breakfasts. Bigger baked beans, whatever that means, and a mixed grill. So don't uh, don't be scared. Why are you scared of the? I'm scared too, Basil. I'm also scared, but I would need I need you to help. Look, let's put these there. Come back. Don't hide under the washing. Help me choose. You've had your breakfast. You're not having more. Come back. Come on. <laughs> Stop hiding. This is something that we must do. We must conquer our fear and help me choose between these awful... You're facing this way, aren't you? I, I should probably eat this one. You're not playing game, so... Fine. I'll have you tomorrow, and I'll have you today. Bigger baked beans. What does that mean? Are they giant, hilarious beans? Is there like three beans in this entire can? It's good that money goes to charity anyway. Maybe I should have more of it. <laughs> Ingredients. Great northern beans. Because we don't muck around up north. We have bigger beans in the front north. North of the wall. The Night King brings his beans. You bastard. I'm pretty starving actually, so I'm going to quit screwing around. I'm going to make my big beans. Well, these are deep red, and they are pretty big. They look twice the size of a regular bean. That's the northern beans, that is. Oh, now you come back over. Hmm? Now you come back over, now I've made the decision myself. Uh, for those also asking, we've had to remove Basil's toilet contraption from the toilet because he was getting very upset, and he was only peeing like once a day and pooping once every other day, but now he pees like eight times a day just to make up for lost time. Don't you, Basil? You're a much happier cat now. Oh, check out me big bowl of bastard northern beans. They are comically large. <laughs> I don't know why, why it's funny. It just is. It tastes the same. Obviously they're a bit bigger, so more of a bite to them, I suppose. Not as soft. But they're nice. Tomato sauce is nice. I would just kill for some bread. I would kill a bastard white walker for a bastard bit of bastard bread. Basil, it's lunchtime. Heinz Big Soup, mighty. Steak and potato, source of protein. I don't know what the name of this is. Is it Big Soup Mighty? Is it a Mighty Big Soup? I don't know. Both of them sound stupid. Potato and vegetable soup with beef steak. It's a pretty big can, this one. So uh, it's low fat. Good for you, maybe? So how many servings? Half a can. Of course it is, even though it's bigger. Um, 128 calories, so it's not super calorific, even though it's a lot bigger. So hopefully this is good. Crack it open. This stuff stinks. How is it there that there's not really that much more of it, despite the size of the face? Oh well, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Soup. Mm. Well, I don't know. Smells right. Why do all soups taste the same? Doesn't matter what it is. Where's these chunks of steak? I'm seeing veg. There's a tiny. Is this it? This is the steak. This is my mighty steak. Okay. Oh, there's another one. I've been spoiled. It tastes okay. Very chewy. Mm. Very chewy. That's why they're small, so you can just swallow them whole. I like the big chunky veg, but seriously, is that all the steak? There's nothing big nor mighty. Is that a piece? No, tiny piece. That's disappointing. It tastes all right. You salty, meh. I'm still chewing. Hmm. Hot one today. 
which is strange because we've had like the worst summer and now suddenly heat all of the heat in one go thankfully though this house doesn't get horrible where we were before it was just gross and yeah sorry for the noise we're right by a road and it's loud with cars Soupy my teeth. So, yeah, it's dinner time. Obviously, I'm starving because soup's crap. Especially mighty soup with three bits of meat in. Maybe the meat just like <laughs> disintegrated into the soup itself. I don't know. Um, yeah. What can I say that I haven't already said? I'm really, really fed up. I'm sick to death of sloppy food. Um, you want to see my thumb? It's healing. Hmm. See, it's so nice. People are cutting their grass. Must be good. But, yeah, it's dinner time. So, I'm going to get some dinner. And then whinge probably. This is an interesting shaped can. What could we have in here? You'll probably never guess. So I'm going to just show you. Pulled pork. Hmm. In a in a can. I was overwhelmed when I saw this. Ready to eat eat hot or cold? Who's eating cold pulled pork? Again, half a can contains 238 calories. So this one's a lot more calorific of your reference intake. I've never heard it called that before. How do I warm this bollocks up? Microwave. Okay, that's fine. Might try it cold just to see. This is going to roll in a very humorous way. <laughs> no, it's not. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to open this and try it. Well, that's a hell of a thing. According to the instructions, you pull it yourself, which is pretty cool. Um, Let's grab a fork and see how. Well, I'll be damned. It does do what it claims to do. Let's try it. Pretty horrendous. I think it would be not much nicer warmer. Yeah, that's gross. So, um, I'm going to warm this up. <laughs> Making sounds. It smells a lot better warm. Again, it pulls apart pretty good. Sorry about that, getting you all steamy. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed with the the pullness of it, the pull of the pulled pork. So, yeah, it was gross, cold. So I'm hoping it's better hot. Yeah, it is. Still got a weird, really weird taste. Tastes like kind of barbecue, but like really, really artificial. Yeah, I couldn't, I can't put my finger on what that taste is, but it's reminiscent of pulled pork. But I don't know, maybe it's the fact that it looks like dog food. <laughs> I was hopeful for this one. That's kind of why, because I've been feeling a bit. Crappy about the whole thing. What about burnt end? Get off. No. There's really something off about it. It's like almost but not quite. I'm sure at the end of the world people would like this. But me, Mr. Millennial, I don't really. <laughs> Mm. I suppose I'm going to have to fight through it. I do have a pudding though. Mm. This is my pudding, if you're wondering. Semolina. Never had it before. 
this was Grace's selection because we had the rice pudding. I'll let Grace have some of that because she likes rice pudding. And I'm nice like that, you see. But um, she said semolina's really good. And I've never had it, which is apparently weird because uh, they force it upon you for school dinners. Or at least they did. Back in the olden days, whippersnappers these days with their drugs for lunch. Uh, so yeah, going to eat this. Then I'm going to microwave some semolina, I suppose. So here's semolina, apparently. Yeah, maybe I can see now why I've never had it. It's essentially just a bowl of sweet, just a bowl of sweet-smelling mush. Not even mush; it's liquid, sweet soup. Anyway, it's just it's just liquid rice pudding. It's just the rice pudding without the rice. I mean, it's lovely, but you know. It's just exactly, tastes exactly like rice pudding. Yeah, really, really good. I'm going to eat it, I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be a good way to end day six. But, uh, God, it's red hot. I think I might have it too long. Yeah. Ended on a high, because that pulled pork was a load of shite. Have you not moved all day? You lazy little pussycat, and yes, I am so jealous. Can't deal with it, can you? Neither can I. So that was day six. It was what it was. Started with crappy beans, which I'm now sick of the sight of. But yeah, I've still got more to come. Amazing. And a big soup, which was just the worst thing. <laughs> Well, apart from the pulled pork, which was also just the worst. Everything's the worst. Maybe it's just because I'm sick of canned food. Everything's salty. Apart from the semolina, which was just basically thick, sweet milk, which was nice. That filled me up, even though it was just slush. This is... Out of all the crappy weeks that I've done I would rate that this really up there I've been thirsty all the time not been hungry it's, that's not been a problem really but the food's all sloppy and just really unappealing now I never want beans ever again now it's But I'm happy that the end is in sight and tomorrow is the last day and then I never get to have a can ever again. I'm never even gonna not even gonna dance the can can. Yeah.